I love rhythm games. They're the combination of two of my favorite things, games and music. They're microcosms, simple ideas expanded to the point of insanity. I would go as far as to say rhythm games are the easiest and hardest genre out there, ranging everywhere from this Four hit circles. to this. No matter how good you are, these games are for everyone. And there's nothing quite like improving on one either. There are no stats, no equipment, no leveling that could possibly make this any easier. There's nothing between you and a high score besides your own skill. Which is why I'm happy to announce a new series I'll be trying to do, Rhythm Roundup. A series where I look at specific rhythm games in depth and share my thoughts on them. As you've probably noticed already, first on the topping block is a newcomer to the scene. Not even released yet, still in early access, but showing so much potential. Spin Rhythm. Oh boy, where to start? Well, how about the beginning? This game is called Spin Rhythm, more precisely Spin Rhythm XD, because while Steam lists its release date as October 22nd, 2019, the title was clearly taken right out of the early 2000s. As far as I know, the XD doesn't even mean anything, it's just the hardest difficulty setting, although it might be there to represent my face when I play it, because despite my poking fun at this title, this game is fantastic. If there's one thing that sets Spin Rhythm apart from similar titles, it's the sheer abundance of control schemes, and how valid all of them are. To control this game, you need something that spins and two buttons. The devs have been working on gamepad, touchpad, mouse, and actual mini devices, so if you have an actual turntable, that might be the most optimal way to play this game. Personally, I've been just using a mouse, and that's worked out fine for me. Granted, I'm not very good at this game with mouse controls, but I don't think I'd be any better with anything else. If there's anything else Spin Rhythm can call its own, it's the sheer style of it. This is probably the prettiest rhythm game I've ever played. Everything is laid out in terms of the cylinder the notes are coming at you from. Everything in a specific orientation. It gives the player tunnel vision, but in the best way possible. The timeline showing how much time is left in the song is especially charming to me. In every other game, it's just a standard progress bar stuck to your forehead, but making it part of the environment is such a nice touch. Also, whenever you lose a point of health, the game does something that I think is pretty clever. It deletes a certain number of notes ahead of you, giving you time to recollect yourself and jump back in. Recovering from a mistake is generally pretty hard in most rhythm games, and in actually playing an instrument, this is a tactic that actual musicians use when performing. The fact that it was built in here is just so cool to me. Wow, I'm four paragraphs in and I haven't talked about the gameplay. Might want to fix that. Notes come at you from a timeline, and you have to catch them with the correct color, be that cyan or magenta. The horizontal lines you have to click on at the precise time, but the smaller notes don't have to be timed. You know, for the longest time I thought those were supposed to be circles, but zoom in on them and lo and behold, that's a hexagon. This is such a minor difference, but it still feels like my world is being turned upside down. There are slide sections that are pretty self-explanatory, and the horizontal yellow lines require you to press the spacebar as a sort of makeshift kick drum. The unique gameplay element is, surprise, the spin sections. Simply swipe your mouse in the direction the game tells you, and the wheel will light up green and automatically stop on the color necessary for the next note. This single mechanic makes this game a master of flow. There's never a constant in how you should respond to a specific situation, it's all dependent on what you just did. Getting good at this game doesn't require memorization or lightning fast reflexes, although those do help. It requires mastery of what I like to call the hit the ground running mentality. Switching gears from matching to timing to spinning to reorienting so fast it feels like you're skiing down a hill at full speed just barely whizzing past every tree. This game truly does feel like like you're playing an instrument, because as a trombonist myself, I can attest that this is exactly what it feels like to attempt a solo not knowing exactly what it's going to sound like, but going with your gut instinct and making it sound as best you can. I'm rambling, but the point is Spin Rhythm makes you feel like a musician, with all the panicky internal screaming that comes with it. And that's not even talking about the online multiplayer component. There's a ton of people on, and it's structured like a radio station, putting out a playlist that everyone can tune into. There are two frequencies you can choose from, or should I say one frequency, and one thinly veiled conspiracy to give everyone carpal tunnel. There's not a lot of communication, but there's a weird sense of solidarity and pride when you see yourself up on a leaderboard, even in last place. Can't relate though. So in conclusion, even though this game is in early access, I fully recommend it. It even got a custom level creator recently, and the community wasted no time recreating the B-movie script and Eggman's announcement. I'm gonna make an announcement. Shout out to the God, I love the internet.